Okay, so I'll show you how to create a new internal web form and then how to use that. So let's say we're going to create a form for adding a new contact um, to Infusionsoft. Now there are different ways, you can just go and add a contact but then you're presented with a whole host of fields and you don't necessarily want members of staff or anyone to, to change any of those fields, you just want a simple way for them to add um, contacts. Now I prefer to have all my internal web forms on a single campaign um, I can then trigger tags to send them to other campaigns, anything like that. But all the internal forms, I like to keep them together. So I've created a campaign here called Internal Web Forms. And when we'll then build the first one. So same as any, just drag a goal onto the page. We then go and change Submit a Web Form, change it to Submit an Internal Form, and save that. And firstly, we'll just rename it to, um, let's say, add new walking inquiry. So then we go in here, and this is where you then decide, same as with any web form, what details do you actually want on here. Um, I'll change, seeing as someone's walked in. We're happy to get their last name from them. And again, this is required field, so you can ensure that your staff ask for the right details. So we'll say we want a phone number. And we'll go for phone one. We prefer mobile numbers. And let's say we will also take a postcode at this stage. We don't need all of that. Now of course all of this is dependent on um, your business, the information you need. You'll see the difference between the internal form and a, and a landing page form or a web form is you don't have as many options. So under settings you can then say how they check whether there's someone already there and um, whether it's a duplicate. So we go by check for the email address um, and those are the only settings you have because it's internal, there's no thank you page, there's no notification to anyone external. So let's take that out of draft and back to our campaign. Now we've got our internal web form there. So at this point, we can then decide what happens when someone fills in this form. There can be a sequence behind that, tagging or anything. But for the moment, for our example, we just use it as that. So let them go and publish that, same as with any other campaign. And now I'll show you two ways of using an internal form. So first one would be someone's just walked in through the door and your reception staff has had a chat with them so we take their details. So if we go into contacts and under contacts we can then go add a contact and here we can then choose which form we want to fill in and we've just created add new walk-in inquiry and it just presents me with that form. Just straightforward, simple. Let's add someone new. We'll just add me. Now if you have permission, you can tick that you have permission. Postcode will say K211. And that's fine. So there we have that. Now we can say either save or save and add another person if we've got a few, if we're doing it at the end of the day rather than during the day. But there you have that. And then we say save. And now you have that contact record there. So now we'll have a look how to use an internal form once I'm inside the contact record. So I want to update an existing contact. 
So what you'll see, I just need to zoom out here a bit so you can see the whole screen. What you'll see is if you scroll down on the contact record, any contact record, you'll see under form submissions, there's now add new walking inquiry has been submitted with my details. But I can now choose other internal forms. So let's say we go for select info pack options, for instance, I choose that and I now want to fill out. And then I can say, fine, I want info pack two, save. And that is now, when we scroll down, you'll see select info pack options. It gives you the date that it's also been filled in. Let's choose another one. Um, and we'll just say, just so you can see how this goes, if we go to add new walk-in inquiry again, and we go fill out, you'll see, because it's an internal web form, all the information we already have on this customer or prospect will be pre-populated. So you save time, no need to type everything. So when you're just updating records, you can get things like that. Um, I won't save this because there's no point, but it gives you an idea of how these work. So that's how to create and then use an internal web form. Just quite good for people with limited access to your infusion software. You just want them to be able to update records and anything like that for your staff. Cheers.